let's look at Linux directory management. So you can create, delete, modify, and do all kinds of things with directories. So let's see what our options are. If I do a directory listing right here, ls minus l, I can see a list of directories. I can create a directory with mkdir. So I'll create this directory uh, new dir. So I go into new dir with a cd command. And I'm in this directory. Inside this directory, I can create other subdirectories as well. mkdir uh, sub dir. And then I can go in that subdirectory. Sub and I can be another directory inside here. Make sub sub dir. And I can go into that one. Sub 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 dir. Type pwd. I can see which directory is in. I'm inside of new directory, new dir, which is inside of sub dir, which is inside of, oh, new dir. And inside of that is sub dir. And inside of that is sub sub dir. All right. So lots of directories. And that took me a little while to make them, but it's kind of nice to have them. If I want to remove a directory, I need to be not in that directory. So I go outside of my sub sub dir into sub dir and do a pwd. I can see I'm in new dir sub dir. I can do a ls minus l. I can see that sub sub dir is right here. If I want to remove the directory, I can do rm dir sub sub dir and it will remove the directory. All right, now I will go back into neuter and then back to my home directory. And ls minus l, let's say I want to delete the neuter and subder. So I do rmdir neuter. Unfortunately, because neuter has something inside of it, it will not delete. It says, fail to remove neuter directory and empty. Well, that's kind of annoying. So what do I do? Well, I've got a couple options. I can go inside of neuter and clean it out, delete everything inside of it first, or I can do rm minus r for cursive, f for force, and then neuter. And it will just remove it. And that's quick. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, though, is that you need to be careful when you do that command because what if you're removing the wrong directory? What happens? Well, it breaks things badly. Um, it's very common for people to show you the commands to erase your entire system and tell you to use that command. And, well, you don't want to do that. Anyway, all right. So if you do rm minus rf slash or create as root, it would basically erase your system, kind of. It would kind of break down in the middle, but you know that's what it would do. So don't do that. So what if you want to create all those directories? I created the new dir, sub dir, and sub sub dir, and that took me a little while. Well, there's actually a command you can use. You can create all of them all with one command. So if I do man mkdr, I can see what my options are. And down here, there is a minus p option. No error of existing, make parent directory as needed. Huh, what does that mean? Well, let's just try it. So I do mkdr, and I want to make a new dir. Then I want to make a sub dir. Then I want to make a sub sub dir. All right, if I try this, it does not work. However, if I do the minus P option right here, it creates all of them. The nice thing about this one is if these things already exist and I try running it again, it will only create ones that are missing. So if I do rmdir new dir sub dir sub sub dir, what I'm doing is I just removed that sub sub dir. That's all I removed. And if I do a uh, find dot, it lists all these directories. Well, actually, let's do find uh, new dir. 
I can see that it says, well, I have a new dir, and inside of new dir, we have a sub dir. So if I run that original create command again, mkdr minus p, it will create just the sub sub dir. If I run the find command again, it will list all the directories. So we have a new dir, sub dir, and sub sub dir all listed right there. So you can create directories with the mkdir. You can use the minus p switch to create multiple directories simultaneously, the uh, missing ones. And you can also um, remove directories with the rmdir command if they are empty. But if they're not empty, you can use the rm command with the r, I guess the r switch, f sometimes if you're logged in as root, um, to remove the directories and subdirectories inside of them. And that's how you can do moving, creating, and deleting directories. If you want to rename a directory, you can do that too. So I do mv for move, new dir to new dir2. And now it is renamed new dir to new dir2. So if I do ls minus l, I can see that I have a new dir2. New dir itself is gone. I do a uh, find new dir2, and it will list all the subdirectories and all the contents so I can see what's inside of it. If I remove it, rm new dir2 minus rf. Now, the order right here, I put the options at the end. This works on Linux, does not work on a Mac. On a Mac, you still have to do minus rf right here, and it's gone. So, that was my help. And there you go directory management on Linux.